not so impressed to begin with because it was some life on a rock. Marine biologists see life on a rock all the time. Then they showed us the map where they collected this information. And that was very, very far away from the open ocean. So it was 260 kilometers away from daylight. They look like sponges, some of the animals in the images. The water passes through them and they take the pieces out of the water. So just the small pieces of food. That works really well when there's a lot of food coming down from above. But if you're in the darkness, then there's not so much food. And if you're very far away from the light, there's even less food. These animals that we saw this time cannot move. They have to wait for the food to come to them until we collect the specimen and we can do some DNA tests. Then it's impossible to say if it's a new species or not. But it is definitely a new habitat. No one has ever observed a rock with life on it this far under an ice shelf before, or animals that feed like this under an ice shelf this far before. If these animals are living somewhere very extreme, there's lots of things we can learn from them. They also can't move. So if predators come or another animal tries to grow on top of them or steal their space, what are they using to defend themselves? So usually sponges have things like chemical defenses. So they give off chemicals to fight off predators or to fight off disease. And those chemicals could be really interesting in terms of chemistry and new products, but also medicine. We mustn't forget that the way they live might mean they produce some things that could be really interesting for humans in the future as well. The reality of science is that it could be years before we ever go back. If we are lucky, it could be two or three years. The reality can sometimes be like 10 years before you get to go and do the exciting thing. But that would give us time to develop the technologies and things in a good and safe way. So we don't want to destroy a habitat just to investigate it. I don't mind how long it takes if we do it properly.